The school bus driver who struck and killed a Westchester County woman and her son two months ago will not face criminal charges. Tonight, the boy's grandfather tells us he's finding that very difficult to accept. Tony Aiello has been on this story since it first happened in June and has details and reaction. You know, I think that there are no good outcomes here. Um, we have to work within the confines of the law. Chief Sandra DeRuza acknowledging the lack of criminal charges against the bus driver who killed Molly Donovan and Michael Volpe won't sit well with many, including Michael's paternal grandfather, Tom Volpe Sr. He's a school bus driver. He's held to a higher standard. He knows there's people all over the place. Something's wrong. The accident reconstruction report says video inside the bus shows the driver distracted by an approaching ambulance as he turned left while Donovan and her son crossed Mamaroneck Avenue walking to school. And he just simply did not see them. We think he was preoccupied with the first group of pedestrians crossing the crosswalk. We can see on video that he follows them. He stops, follows them through the crosswalk. But when he turns back and presses the gas, that's when Mike, Mike and Molly start to cross the street. Another factor, the don't walk signal was flashing when the mother and son stepped off the curb. If it's don't walk while you are going to start across a roadway, then you are to wait for the next cycle. Many of us enter crosswalks when that red hand is flashing, but technically that's a violation. And right here at the fatal intersection, there is a sign that says don't start crossing when that hand is flashing. Police say the bus driver should have yielded and was ticketed for failing to do so. Meanwhile, significant pedestrian improvements are underway at the intersection, and a crossing guard will be in place when school begins September 3rd. Tony Aiello, CBS News, New York. Police say Royal Coach Lines and the driver cooperated fully in the investigation. Video inside the bus showed the driver using his phone two minutes before the accident. He was ticketed for that, but police say it was not a contributing factor.